just don't want to come off selfish. So, once again, in the car, eventually I will have free time to where I can film, not in the car, and the sun is blinding me on my side. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about why we chose to have children knowing that it was a 50% chance of our kids having ichthyosis. That was like the only non-positive comment and I wouldn't even call it mean because it's totally personal choice and I, I, I respect and understand people's opinion and the people that say that and feel that way and I don't feel like I have like a good solid concrete answer for that other than ichthyosis for the most part is not life-threatening like living is life-threatening you know, so, like, anything can happen to anybody, anytime. Um, and yes, it may be, like, to those who don't have ichthyosis and to those who have ichthyosis, you know, you may feel, like, bad enough or it may look bad enough to where you would say, I would never give that to my child. And I understand that, I completely understand that. Trust me, I weighed my options heavily. Um, but I also feel like just because I was born with that doesn't mean that I should not have the option to have children of my own. Does that make sense without sounding selfish? I just feel like I grew up in such a positive nature for the most part that it didn't seem like a big deal to have it. You know, yes, it's annoying to get up every morning way earlier than when you have to be somewhere and put on and shower or bathe and put on lotion and then let that lotion sit because it's so thick it will ruin your clothes. Trust me, I get it. That is so irritating. And yes, in the winter when my hands are cracking and, you know, my skin itches really bad. Yes, that's annoying, but it's not a deal breaker for me. It's not a huge hindrance on my life to where in my mind, I just, it's not a huge deal. It's just the way I live my life. Just like somebody with glasses gets up every morning either puts on glasses and they have to clean them and they have to take care of them or they put on contacts every morning and take them out every night that's to me that's just how I see this now granted I don't really I don't get bacterial skin infections I've never had one knock on wood um, but I have had tons and tons of fungal skin infections but those, you know, they're just a nuisance. I just don't want to come off selfish when I say all these things. There are a ton of people with ichthyosis who choose not to have children. And m most forms of ichthyosis are recessive. So it's a very slim chance of them getting it anyways, just to put that out there. Um, so definitely, if you have a condition that is genetic, look into the chances of actually passing it on. You know, ours was high, 50% chance. You know, like, um, me and a friend who is a mother of a teenage daughter with ichthyosis, we have talked a lot about what would happen if, if two people with two different types of ichthyosis were to have a child would it be like you know 50% chance it would get one kind and 50% chance it would get another kind or 50% chance it would have ichthyosis at all so any of my you know genetic nerdy friends please tell me 
how that would go. But, I, I don't know. This is a super hard thing to talk about. Um, even with other people that have ichthyosis because it's a very serious topic. It's a very big deal. Um, you know, having kids to begin with is nothing to take lightly and to play around with. But a perfectly healthy person can have a baby with something wrong with it. You know, a band can form around the baby when its limbs are developing and it can be born without a limb or a finger or a toe and your baby could be born with an extra finger, an extra toe. Your baby could be born with a heart defect. There's a multitude of things to go wrong and to me, ichthyosis is not life-threatening. It's really the only factor you know, if, if the doctor, if we were to have another child and the doctor said your baby was going to have Down syndrome, because that's one that's, you know, tested for early, there is no way I would say, you know, abort that baby. No way. And even that has complications. It can be life-threatening. And I know that's different because the baby is already, you know, growing and has a heartbeat and everything, but you know, in my mind, it's kind of the same thing, like, it's just not life-threatening. You know, God gives you what you can handle, and, you know, we wanted our own children. We can have our own children, which I am extremely thankful for, that, I don't know, I hope this makes sense without sounding selfish or whatever. I guess let me know down below what your opinion is on this. Like, what would you do in that situation? Because, I don't know, I just want, I mean, don't get nasty in the comments, but I just want to, like, I honestly want to know, like, opinions from a non-life-threatening point of view, I guess. Um, like if I had something or I was going to die early and I knew that my kid could also get it and they would die early, no, I would not do it. I would probably not have kids either if I knew I was going to die early. I would not do that to a child. And I can't, you know, go sunbathe, but I'm fine. You know, it's not... Yes, Jackson may get picked on, but everybody gets picked on. You get picked on for having freckles. You get picked on for wearing glasses, having braces. You know, it's just, it's a matter of how you deal with it. And I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope that made sense. And don't forget to subscribe. And we will see y'all in the next video. Bye.